Welcome back, everybody. I've got Donna with me here from Innovation Enterprises. She told us last hour about how you had a midlife career change, went into farming with goats and all kinds of goat products. So I'd love to have you tell me more this hour about some of the things that you make uh, and what people how, what people react. What do they say, of course, when you tell them, okay, I've gone into goats <laughs> and making goat milk products. Um, my old co-workers kind of just nod. They know Donna's <laughs> always kind of been the rebel. <laughs> I really I really wanted something that would be able to be passed on to my grandchildren and mm -hmm. my children and something that would teach Midwestern values. So right. my, my grandkids are seven and four. And they understand that the work doesn't go away. Mm -hmm. You know, if the goats are hungry, the goats are hungry and they don't care if you want to sleep in. So. <laughs> They don't, do they? No. no. There's some video, of course, from your farm in Henryville, correct? Correct. Oh, so how many goats do you have? I guess this one's a real little one there. 14 right now. I have two due within the next month oh, or so, wow. so I'll have some more. And it's breeding season mm -hmm. for dairy goats, so next spring we'll probably have a whole bunch. I have another round. And it's a family-owned farm, as you mentioned. You got everybody working in on the farm, but that means you get everybody's input then on what you make. So tell me about some of the products that you can make out of goat's milk and sell. Uh, the, the whipped body butter was a request from my mom. <laughs> I didn't want to put milk into a lotion. I was afraid that it wouldn't keep very well I so I used say. powdered milk in the lotion okay, rather than liquid milk. And that's this one right here if you yep. can see of course totally whipped on there. Do you put scents in there? Yep that one's a ah. citrus. Okay I got that. Um, that might be a little much. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say I, I found my I found a way for a lot of them. I'm gonna smell really good then for the rest of the day. Um, you do lotions but you also have a, a new shaving setup here There's as well. There's shaving soap that's unscented in case you have sensitive skin. Okay. We can add a scent if anybody really wants one. Our goat's milk soap is over there, a soap saver to keep the little scraps of soap from not being used. So practical. You're thinking of all the things. Yeah, I tend to one. be pretty practical. <laughs> I, I'm an engineer by trade, so yep. <laughs> not, not too far out there in the ephemeral. But you've also got one. a whimsy side. You mentioned your, your grandbabies, uh, and you've got something fun for kids here, too. Yeah, this was this was a what are we going to do for Christmas this year and <laughs> little dinosaurs and some bath fizzies. Uh, there's sugar scrub cubes here okay. for rougher skin like elbows and heels mm -hmm. and calloused hands, some beard oil and a, a milk bath, bath salt soak. And you can buy these online of course at your website. What do they run if folks want to buy several as like a gift box? Uh, depends on what you put in the gift box. Somewhere between six dollars per item mm -hmm. up to the shaving soap in the the handmade pottery is eighteen fifty. Wow! And it said handmade pottery is that somewhere it's local? It's made as by well? a potter about twenty miles from my house. They've been in business since eighteen oh nine. Wow! They mine their own clay. They do all the work themselves. And you're going to keep them in business. I love that. Local businesses supporting local businesses. We'll have this information up on wishtv.com, part of Indiana Grown. But I'm glad you came in today. Thanks so much for and having us. And it smells very here. citrusy. Marcus, you're going to have to come experience yeah. this, this citrus here. I got a whole nice. bunch over here, too. <laughs> Need something to kind of brighten up your day here on this uh, kind of gloomy bit. start, right, on this Saturday. <laughs>